You catch the fireflies for yourself, but you release them all in a tent for your grandmother because she's a great woman and you love her. Something I would want more, and I didn't even know I wanted it. I'm Koa. Welcome to this week's Casual Outdoors Weekly, where we go over an outdoors activity for you to do for the benefit of your health and happiness. And as you'll see in this one, also for the benefit of your family members' happiness. We'll also knock up our nature smarts all under six minutes. Enjoy. This week's outdoor activity is to catch fireflies. And if you want to give someone a surprise they'll never forget, Make a little firefly tent and put over a hundred fireflies inside for them to enjoy. So I modified a spinnerbait box of mine to collect the fireflies. You can use any type of container, just put holes in it and find some wet paper towels. I also made a larger collection container because I spread my collection over two nights. A sliced up apple and moisture will make the fireflies happier. After my first night, I collected 70 plus fireflies, and I did learn that the fireflies that are too easy to catch have already been caught by spiders, so be careful not to grab the webs. I used a mosquito net to set up a tent on my grandmother's porch when she was distracted so she didn't know, and I also used a rug to block the cracks between the boards. I headed out one more time, and my buddy Caesar joined me to help. It was time to surprise Grandma Nancy. Okay, so this is my grandmother Nancy. And she's also a patron of Coa Nature, but I have a surprise for you. You want to know what it is? Of course. Okay, so the other day you were asking me about fireflies. Yes. And so I was like, I will do a video. I went out and I have over 130 fireflies. I have set out a little tent for you, a little mosquito netting. So what I'm going to do, if you want, you can sit out there have a nice drink or something, and have fireflies light up your night for a bit. Oh, I love it. Does that sound good? It sounds good. Nancy's a great woman. She's almost 93 years old. She was a newspaper journalist before running her own publishing company for over 40 years. She's always been an active member of her community, League of Women Voters, etc., etc., and she raised two wonderful daughters that raised four intelligent and accomplished grandchildren and one koa. And Nancy was there for me during the hardest part of my life, so she more than deserves her own firefly tent. You excited? <laughs> yeah. All right. So what we're gonna do is just start shaking on the netting. Oh, that was brilliant. Soon enough, she had fireflies lighting up all around her. Would you like to hold a firefly? I would love to. Let me grab one. But lit up for you already, too. Oh, oh, look. It's not very big. Nope. Oh, yes. You are the queen of the fireflies tonight, oh, Nancy. Oh, I know, and I love it. No one could ever have given me something I would want more. And I didn't even know I wanted it. There are around 2,000 species of fireflies, which are beetles in the family Lampyridae and around 170 different species in North America. Not all are capable of bioluminescence, aka that beautiful glowing they produce, and in many species both the male and the female are capable of glowing, but in some species only one sex produces light, and in some species neither sex glows. So this bioluminescence is primarily used as a method of communication within species, mainly for mate selection. Their light is extremely efficient because they release 100% of the energy as light with no heat. This is why scientists call it cold light. An incandescent bulb releases about 90% of its energy as heat and only 10% as light. So catching the fireflies is easy breezy, but making a firefly tent with around 130 fireflies, that's a medium oomph difficulty. It's free to catch them and I only spent 20 bucks to buy the mosquito net. I will never have anything quite this wonderful in my whole life because it was so original and so different and so successful. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you for doing it. So, that's the activity. Oh. Go catch some uh, fireflies. Oh, <laughs> it was just lovely. So after Nancy was done being queen of the fireflies, I did release all of them outside back into their habitat. And I did notice that the ones that I kept overnight in the container with the apples and the wet paper towels, well, they all sort of 
weren't glowing as much. And some theories from some of my patrons and myself is that they were fat and happy and they engaged in an orgy. So they got everything they wanted already. So last week, Sarah Larson asked a question about that snake eating the frog. And she asked how long it was going to take to digest that frog. Well, first we got to know that snakes are ectothermic. They're cold-blooded, which means that digestion really depends on their outside environment. The warmer it is outside, the faster the organs will work. So it's summer here. I'm guessing that snake is only going to take three to five days to digest that frog. It was a good meal for him. Also, if you saw the last video, that baby gecko, you can still name that gecko. If you get over to that video and uh, post your name suggestion in the comments, I'm sure it'll get some votes. Just go vote on it. I'm still waiting on an outdoors activity for you all to suggest for me to do. And uh, more questions for next week. I kind of got swamped this week. I'll see you next week. Spread some knowledge and be nature heroic.